Seven months ago, I did a video compiling all of the hate that Ryan Yates receives on social media. And I thought, you know what, surely this is the last time I'd do it. He's proved the doubt as wrong. Championship team of the season. A battle. They got nine goals last year in the championship. Unbelievable. What a season. He's surely going to get a fair crack in the Premier League. I was wrong, quite seriously. Because I'm making this video again. Like last time, I've gone through Twitter searching for all of the most ridiculous things that people have said about Ryan Yates. And I'll make a very clear disclaimer before I do anything. I do not hate any of these people that I feature. I just happen to disagree with some of your footballing opinions. But I do not hate you personally. So please don't take offence. Ryan Yates, worst midfielder in the league. Can't think of one thing he's good at. Not good on the ball. Average off the ball. Not particularly strong or good in the air. Not particularly strong or good in the air. Well, I must have imagined this goal that you're about to see. Oh, yes! Come on! Come on, Yatesy! Can't think of one thing he's good at. Breaking up play, getting stuck in, putting in a tackle, literally taking a boot to his face and carrying like nothing happens. Scoring goals. For instance, so there you go, that, that answers that one. This tweet was after the Fulham game. Do we need to drop Ryan Yates to survive? He's absolutely awful. First name on the team sheet, 83%. Say drop him. I mean, granted, that wasn't his greatest game, but I don't think he was that bad. Steve Cook, Scott McKenna, Ryan Yates are not good enough. I'm sorry, but most of their involvement was wasted, dangerous, or giving the ball away. 3rd of September, that was the Bournemouth game. Granted, Scott McKenna made a horrific mistake in that game. Cook was slow, so that's fair. Don't really think Yates was... He wasn't great in that match, but he wasn't horrendous. It's all well and good blaming the defence, but if your midfield isn't dominating the ball, you are not going to win games. That's very true. If you think Ryan Yates is the man to dictate play in the Prem, you're part of the problem. He's clearly out of his depth and O'Brien has to start. I agree with the last bit. O'Brien is absolute quality. I love Lewis O'Brien. But the fact that you're singling out Yates as if he is the out and out problem. Yeah, I disagree with you. Don't ever not believe in yourself. Ryan Yates is playing Premier League football. If he can, anything's possible. Absolutely bang average championship player at best. Blimey. <laughs> what on earth? Where's the Ryan Yates lovers tonight? Got a lot of heart, but will never be a Premier League footballer. Should be no way near our starting eleven. Jimmy Garner got a bit more about, got a bit more out of him last season. That's true. Without him, he's just an average Championship player. I agree with the Garner part. I've said before that Garner made Yates better. Mangala and O'Brien and Froiler make Yates better. He's the kind of player that needs to have a slightly better player next to him to really get the best out of him. So that I agree with. But to say that just without them, he's useless, essentially is what people are saying, is too far. That's not true. How do you sign 20 players and still end up starting Ryan Yates and Scott McKenna? Because they're good footballers, maybe? Now this one from Max is one of my personal favorites. How has Ryan Yates got man of the match? 91 comments suggest that he's kind of wrong with this opinion. This was after the Brighton game where he was fantastic in the second half. Not so much the first, I admit that. They were some of my personal favourite comments, uh, or the most stupid comments. But there's so, so many more, as you're seeing on the screen right now. People really do not like Ryan Yates. And I guarantee some of these people now think he's great. Because as we're seeing here, Yates is proving the doubt is wrong. Man of the match performance against Brighton. 85% pass accuracy against Aston Villa, 4 passes into the final third, 10 out of 15 grand jewels won. Captain's performance tonight. Thank you, Callum Castell, for proving that Yatesy is an excellent player. As you would have seen in the first video if you saw that, I have backed Yatesy many times during the hardest moments of his career. But here are just some of the most up-to-date moments of where I have backed Ryan Yates. I'm not saying he's perfect. He has made mistakes, and even I have been a bit suspect of him in the past. He has made some mistakes. Against Fulham and Bournemouth, he wasn't the best. He wasn't as bad as what some people made out, though. Time and time again, Yatesy proves that he's got what it takes. He proved people wrong in the Championship after his season under Chris Hewton. Well, I don't even think he was as bad as some of the players we had in that year. He was then totally revitalising the Cooper in that entire season. Still got some hate in the most special moments of that year. Even after beating Arsenal, as I point out in the first version of this video, he got someone slagging him off. 
But he proves all those people wrong, and then he gets a load of hate again because he's gone up to the biggest league in the world, a whole new set of players to learn, and also an entirely new league to adapt to, and you'd think he was going to click straight away. I just really do find it fascinating the amount of stick he has got despite continuously doing so much good. So I do hope you understand this video. If you were featured in it, don't take offence. I just don't agree with your opinion of Ryan Yates. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you all very soon for another video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. 100 away from 4,000 subscribers, which would be incredible if we could reach that as soon as possible. Up the Reds.